Hello and welcome back to another daily A-level maths exam question. Now for today's question here, something quite nice and easy, right, on partial fractions. So for this question here then, all we want to do is just express 2 all over 4 minus y squared in partial fractions. So to begin with here, let's just rewrite the denominator because the denominator here is a difference of two squares. What we'll also do here then is just express this in partial fraction form. So as we said then, let's just start here by rewriting the denominator because this here is a difference of two squares. That would give us this here. And then if we express this in partial fraction form, we obtain this here. So what I now want to do here then is just take this, what I've got here, and express this as a common denominator, right? And the common denominator here then will be the exact same as what I've got here in the middle, which what that means then is my denominators will be the same. And in that case, then, if the denominators are the same here, the numerators must also be the same, right? So as we just said then, let's just get this here over a common denominator. So I won't actually bother writing down the common denominator here, right? As I said before, it is just going to be 2 minus y times 2 plus y. So just imagine that it's underneath that. I'm being lazy, but you get what I mean. And as I said before, then, in that case here, the numerators must be the same, right? So a times 2 plus y plus b times 2 minus y must be equal to 2. And once we get to this stage here, then we've pretty much done all of the hard work here, right? What I now need to do then is just choose values of y to eliminate both a and b separately. And in that case, then we can easily solve for the remaining variables. So for example, then, if I let y, if I let y here be equal to 2, then what I'd get here is 2 minus 2, right? Which is 0. b times 0 is just 0. In that case, then we've eliminated b, and we can go on to solve for a, right? So in that case, then what I get here is 4a is equal to 2. And in that case, then a here is just simply 1 over 2. Perfect. My Christmas tree has just gone out in the background. It looks really dark. Let me fix that. And in a similar fashion here, then, if we let y equal minus 2, then, so let y equal minus 2, what I get here is 2 plus minus 2, which is just the same as 0, right? So a times 0 is 0. We've eliminated a, and we can want to solve for b. So what I get here, then, is 4b. Where's my pen gone? There it is. So 4b is equal to 2. And in that case, then, we get the exact same solution for b, right? So b here is also equal to 1 over 2. So let's just put all this together. And if we now put all of that together, then, we obtain this here. So 2 all over this is equal to 1 over 2, all over 2 minus y, plus 1 over 2, all over 2 plus y. There we go. That is the solution to today's question.